What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we finally got the announcement of those three DLC weapons which are coming to Advanced Warfare and Serge Hammer actually did tweet out a blog post detailing how we're going to get these weapons and what they are, what's included and exactly the dates of when we should expect them. So of course I'm going to have gameplay of these weapons on my channel when they launch and they're actually launching next week, so next Tuesday on July the 21st. So that is when we should expect these weapons to be releasing and of course that's on Xbox first unfortunately. PlayStation will have to wait one month and also PC, they'll wait one month after and then PlayStation PlayStation PC will get access to these weapons. At first, of course, it's going to be on Xbox next week on the 21st of July. So that's going to be an important date, of course, and another gameplay of these weapons on my channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. But we've got a couple of these variants and, of course, base weapons as well. Also going to explain how these weapons are introduced to the game because it's not exactly as you would expect. So they're not tied to any DLC. They're not part of the Reckon DLC. You don't have to buy anything. They're all completely free for the most part. The Blunderbuss is a different weapon to the SCG and the SVR. I'm going to talk about those two in a second, but the Blunderbuss is essentially exactly the same same as you would expect it. It's the same as M19 is essentially you're going to get the base weapon. Everyone gets it for free. You don't have to download anything or buy anything. Everyone gets the base blunderbuss version for free. And there's also 10 other variants in supply drops and advanced supply drops than you can get. So that is how the blunderbuss works. In terms of the other two weapons, of course, the STG44 and the SVO sniper rifle, these are a little bit different. So you won't get the free base variants just given to you by natural. You have to earn at least one of the actual variants through supply drops or advanced supply drops, and that'll allow you to actually use the weapon. Weapon. It will give you the base variant and of course that variant that you just unlocked in the drop and you'll be able to use the weapon. Until then you won't actually have access to the weapon. You need to earn one of the variants and then it will give you the base variant and of course that variant that you just unlocked. So the ways to get one of these variants of course is through supply drops. You can actually earn them through in-game playtime as you guys know that's of course a normal way. You could earn an advanced supply drop of course. I think when you hit like level 20, 30, 40 in prestige uh, you get given an advanced supply drop and you could possibly get one from there. Or you could actually go into the game store and buy an advanced supply drop and then you you could possibly get a chance to get one of these variants as well so that is how you get those two weapons i'm not sure why they've done it it's kind of odd but the blunderbuss of course is a freebie just like the m19s and the other two are a little bit more complicated to get you have to earn them through an advanced or normal supply drop and you could either pay for them or you could in game like earn the supply drops and possibly get one of those variants so that is how those work and now let's get into these variants now i believe some of these are actually legendary like i said in the video where we got the leaked information about them two of the variants of the sniper and also the stg are actually legendary there's the stg version has a, a version called the Relic and that's actually legendary in game. We don't know whether that's changed, whether it's a placeholder, where it won't be like that, but they haven't actually announced any legendary variants yet. Maybe they're keeping it as a surprise or maybe they decided to make them elite and they're not actually legendary. We don't know until we earn them, but there's also, of course, another one, the Return to Sender variant of the SVO Sniper and that's also legendary. The Blunderbuss doesn't have a legendary version that we know of so far. They could have one, but so far in the game files we did see there are two variants, one of the SDG and one of the SVO Sniper. So Ed, we're going to get into the variants and actually have a look at what they are because they put a video or kind of like a gif on their website actually showing through some of the variants you can see them on screen right now so there are 11 variants of the blunderbuss and i'm just going to focus on that right now and kind of go through them you can see a couple of different colors and what they look like and uh, there's of course there's one here which is a purple royalty so we're going to have one of those to expect and then there's also two that have the dragon head there's a silver one and a kind of gold and green one and they have like dragon heads at the end of the blunderbuss shotgun so that's a really really cool look at the weapon and as i said there's around 10 or 11 variants that i counted going through those variants the stg and the svo those have i believe five variants there's a base weapon plus five extra variants and if we go through them right here you can see this is the normal version of the stg and then we've got this sort of like black and white one we've got this gold one which looks really cool then this one right here is what in the game files was called the relic and this one in the game files was actually titled legendary so this could be the legendary version of the stg we don't know whether they've changed it to elite but so far this one is supposed to be called the relic and it's supposed to be legendary there's also a purple royal version of the stg and there's also this other like cream and black one as well now onto the svo sniper rifle we've got this is the base variant so this is just the standard normal version of it doesn't look too great it looks like a standard dragon off and then into the variants we've got a black and white one we've got this like orange and black taped one which looks pretty cool and then we've got this one which again in the game files this one was actually legendary this is called the return to sender it's like pink and gold it's got like a pink snake skin it's got this gold bit in the middle but this in the game files was legendary so we don't know whether it'll be legendary in the game or whether they decide to not make it legendary they're going to do that later on but so far on the game files this one could be a legendary version of the svo sniper and they've also got another black and kind of like silver one and they've also got a purple royalty version so those are a bunch of variants and possibly legendary variants of new weapons coming to advanced warfare hopefully i've summed it up well and kind of explained how these are going to be coming into the game if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and i'll go through and answer any that you have and uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video give it a like rating if you did and i'll see you guys in the next video